All right, I had to make this video because YouTube's a crazy place. It's 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 really nuts. Um, I made this video October 31st, 2013. I titled it "Another Fireball Record Breaking Year." Okay. I went to the AMS or American Meteor Society website, right? That's our our official fireball meteor tracking system, right? If you see that on October 31st, when I made this video, there were 261 fireballs logged so far this year. Now, let's fast forward to December 11th, or six weeks later. How many? Back on AMS, right? 311. That is an increase of 50 fireballs in six weeks. Funny thing is, if you go back to 2008, you'll see there were 69 for the entire year. We had we have had 50 in six weeks. What was last year look like? A total of 246. So far this year, 311. Something is coming. I don't know if it's a spaceship. I don't know if it's another planet. I don't know if it's just a, if it's just a monster asteroid. It's going to hit the Caribbean somewhere. Or if it's nothing at all, this is all staged hologram technology. I have no idea. But we're being told that things like this, 120 to 160 meteors per hour we can expect now, because it's all normal, and it's all part of this annual meteor shower that we're, that we're experiencing right now. And this is all the same time, while we have fireballs being reported in places like Arizona, and not even only there, I'm just all over the world I'm saying, that are blowing up almost, making loud booms, and rattling houses, and scaring people. And we're being told that this is all normal, when we can clearly look at the numbers and see for ourselves that it absolutely is not. I would say an uptick of 50 of these things in about six weeks is rather not alarming, but um, something I would pay attention to, significant, especially when just five years ago there were only 69 for the total year. So why are people on here arguing with the, what, what's going on here? It's obvious that something is coming. We can all see it with our own eyes. So why argue if it's a freaking planet or a spaceship? Why are we doing that? Who really cares? And I'll tell you another thing that's really interesting as well is that now we got some really compelling evidence coming out that Nelson Mandela died a long time ago, back in the summertime. And we have all these major world leaders down in one place now in South Africa. And here in just a few days, they are going to go worship and go to some sun temple that I'm sure has a very nice bunker underneath it. And that whole claim about this being a fake funeral, I tell you what doesn't help is when we see our world leaders down there shaking hands with dictators, especially America. And what's even weirder about America being there is that we declared Nelson Mandela a terrorist a few years, not a few years, all years back. We declared that guy a terrorist and we're down there honoring his freaking funeral. And Obama and all his little buddies are taking selfies, cell phone pictures in the crowd during a 10-day funeral procession. And something else that also doesn't help is the fact that there a, was a fake sign language interpreter that they now they just can't find. The guy showed up, gave a fake sign language show, and now they can't find him. Now there's a manhunt for the guy. You believe this story? Do you believe that they, that they just had some guy that no one knows that somehow managed it to make it up there and give fake sign language? That doesn't help the story of this whole thing being fake. Now, whether it is or not, I don't know. But this definitely, stuff like this, the pictures, the labeling him a terrorist, that doesn't make does, doesn't help. Sure doesn't. So I'm not on here to fear or to freak anybody out or to bum anybody out. I'm just saying be aware, and whenever you're being told that this stuff is normal, it's clearly not. And freaking quit trying to fight over and, and trying to have the bragging rights to say who said it was whenever it was coming in. Something's coming. Why don't you just leave it at that and quit trying to debunk each other with what it is that you're saying it is. Who really gives a shit at this point? You know what I mean? We got a big disaster headed our way and we're going to go down fucking fighting with each other. Dipshits. Sorry. Thanks teammates. Thanks subs.